Time for Matthew Ellis to start living up to his nickname of Magic. Prestigious amateur, he struck gold in the multi-nations and won the ABA heavyweight title, but has yet to hit the professional headlines. Treading water, really, as he meets Chris Woolis for the second time. An Ellis KO win in five, two years ago up in Widnes. Can he make a quicker statement down here in Dagenham? Ellis in the gold trunks, trimmed with black. Woolis in blue. Well, he's promised a lot, Ellis, but hasn't really produced yet. And really needs the, the, the fights that can maybe bring the best out of him and really see what he's got to offer. He's coming at 15-10, Ellis, and was 16-5 last time out, so he's worked hard. He's a dedicated trainer up in Blackpool. He just has not right. set right the division right. alight as he promised he would early on. Turned professional in February 96. Well, he can be quite exciting. He's the sort of fighter that can bang a bit and put his opponents down. Also gets put down himself and has had to get off the floor quite a few times. He's right, right down back. four times right, when he fought Harry oh, Senior a couple of years back and still got the decision over eight. Can make for exciting fights, those that go down and also possess power. He's got eight knockouts right. on his record, Ellis. Willis really a blown up cruiserweight wasn't a bad cruiserweight actually no he's okay he's got a couple of decent decisions on his record one over neil simpson which looks quite good now but i think he's carrying a bit too much weight and in a fight like this you can see he's just trying to spoil he's trying to close the distance down with ellis and he's not getting through with anything effective yes in october last year he weighed 13 12 and now he's 15 4. too fleshy around the midriff maybe for a heavyweight but he's standing up to Ellis well this is the sort of fight where Ellis really needs to look good and you know get Willis out the way but Willis just closing him down not giving Ellis the room to get his punches off Slapping there, Matthew Ellis. And Willis denied him the room pretty effectively, although Ellis takes the round. As Dean Powell in his corner, 26 years of age, Matthew Ellis. He won the ABA heavyweight title in 95, and great things were expected for him up in Blackpool. The one defeat on his record there, a fifth round stoppage by. Yuri Yelostratov, the Ukrainian, three years back. It was avenged in 29 seconds the following year. He can hit, and he's got fast hands. Yes, he's got fast hands, and you know, he can put his punches together well, but in this one, he's just struggling to get the room. You know, and I think maybe just trying a bit too hard to impress, and I'm sure Dean Powell will have told him just to relax a bit, use the jab, and start looking for better combinations. Corner, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Here's the second of four at heavyweight. In the goal, Matthew Ellis from Blackpool. Meeting Chris Woolis in a rematch. He stopped Woolis in five before. Now he's only got four rounds to repeat that. Woolis is on the losing run. Of eight, but he was a Midlands cruiserweight champion. One or two decent results on his record. He got a draw with the heavyweight Jack Lord Jacobs, who meets Gordon Miners for a British Masters heavyweight title coming up. Ellis really wants to be moving up in level. He's crying out for a British shot. Does he deserve it yet? Well, I think he's going to be in the in the shake-up, but he needs good 
wins in fights like this to really just propel him and get that extra punch, that extra push to get a, a British title shot. He needs a spark, something to ignite his career. Ellis, very popular up in Blackpool. There's another heavyweight called Craig Bowen Price, and if the two of them met, it could sell out. Well, certainly a small arena, there's plenty of following for both men up there. Ellis, the more successful heavyweight. Just can't get his shots off here. No one is doing enough just to mess him around. He's only getting in close or he's staying at, at range and just not giving us the room he needs to get his punches off. But I mean, that's all part of a, a learning experience, and that's the, the sort of thing good heavyweights have got to get past. Left hand from Ellis. And Willis took it, but just staggered back. The first time his power has got home. Closing Willis down now. Right, come on, Simmons. Get out there. Well, the thing with Willis, even though he's on a losing run, he knows enough about the game just to make it untidy and mess Ellis around. Ellis floored him four times when they met before. Just looking to referee Marcus McDonald there to break the fighters. Just to get back to his jab. Another round for Matt Ellis. Well, pretty easy so far for Ellis. Willis not giving much opposition whatsoever. He's just closing it down, just trying to make it untidy and just get through it. Um, pretty much a survival routine for Willis. And I think it's a bit frustrating for Ellis. He would like Willis to try and fight more so he can try then and get his punches on. Well, there's Chris Willis's record. And he has lost 12 times inside the distance. So Ellis really should be looking to make it 13. Last fight he lost to the newcomer Danny Percival at Wembley in October. Percival in time professional recently uh, with big John McDermott, a couple of new heavyweights. Third round. An easy repeat so far for Matthew Ellis. Desperately wants a shot at the British title, which is in a bit of a limbo at the moment. Champion Danny Williams having won the vacant crown, beating Mark Potter in that thriller at Wembley with the use really of only one arm is out for shoulder surgery for four months. Michael Holden, of course, still in the mix as the former champion, so that's to be sorted out. Ellis needs something to test him maybe a fight with a mark potter or a wayne llewellyn possibly well there's fights out there for him but yeah, he needs to look good right he's just struggling a little bit with this one he's the one that's trying he's trying to get his punches going but Wallace just falling inside just really not trying that hard right hand right, right, going right, right. so thrown it seven eight times there without any impact <laughs> determined to get his career rolling matthew ellis such a good amateur that's better good variety he found a couple of body shots in there which made Willis slow down and his hands are dropping 
but he's just looking over to Ocellus. He's a little bit frustrated in there. Can't get his hands free. Can't get the punches he wants on. Negative performance from Willis. Jab, Chris, and work the Willis corner, say. And again, Ellis complains. He's not really doing anything wrong here, Ellis. He needs a break. Yes, he did. I think the referee could do with being a little bit harder on Willis. He's given him a lot of rope. And Willis has been very negative and pretty much all spoiling tactics. Ellis beckoning him in as he walked into a left hook counter. Willis, now time out. He's going to have a word. Yes, one point. That's good from Marcus McDonald. Stop holding. Exactly what we thought. Well, he needed to do that because it was, you know, it's too negative a performance from Willis. He's not looking to fight and win in there, just looking to survive, made it difficult for Ellis. And, you know, that's what he's managing to do. But should a really good heavyweight be able to work that out? Maybe. He's ranked about six in Britain. He was upset that Mark Potter got that shot at Danny Williams. Potter down at seven or eight, but that's the way things work out. He just needs to stamp his authority, Matthew Ellis. Well, this is probably the best bit of action from Ellis. That was the only time really he's got Willis in a little bit of trouble. Goes with that good right uppercut and then pushing him back. Would you see Willis just almost crab like retreating into a shell there? And then the point deduction for continuous holding. Well, it, ha it had to happen because the referee was giving him a lot of leeway, and he really did need it. Reminded of Second that out, much earlier. Home and last round. Final round. Chris Willis very slow to get up off his stool. Ellis hits his glove in frustration, really. Winning this easily, his 16th professional outing, Matt Ellis. But it has not been a good spectacle, and that really has been the fault of Chris Woolis, who has held his way through this. When Ellis gets room, he looks better. Still very light on his feet. Walks into a right hand and Woolis just nods. An appreciative glance. Ellis, who has got speed. A member of his camp was telling us earlier that he knocked out David Starry in the amateurs in 30 seconds. Of course, Starry now super middleweight. Ellis heavyweight. Was a very good amateur. Why hasn't it worked out for Ellis? Well, it's a different thing altogether, a different game when you get into the professionals and, you know, he's in with the heavyweights and the, the big boys and you know, when they start lying on, they make life difficult. So the frustration coming in from Ellis there, just getting a caution for hitting on the brig. I thought, I think that's the only chance he got to land a shot at Willis. It's just been up and down for Ellis. He knocked out Alexander Vasiliev in four rounds back in May, but he was down twice. He's looked more vulnerable in the last 18 months or so. Keep regularly busy and maybe it's time to throw him in with one of the best heavyweights in the country. Frank, stop watching, right back. This is not doing him much good. No, but it, I mean, he doesn't really have much option. He can't get free from Willis. Willis is very negative, making it a frustrating performance from Ellis. But really, that's, you know, Willis probably thinks he's going to get beat anyhow. He doesn't really want to go in there and be the, a brave guy and end up getting knocked down. He's thinking of the next period here, probably in a, a week or two's time. Exactly, but that doesn't help Matthew Ellis, who I'm sure wanted to enact another stoppage defeat on a man 
who he dealt with clinically two years ago. And the odd left hook that's got through. Nothing much has bothered Woolis because he's been doing this. Closing down the distance and grabbing on. Finally, he listens to his corner and works, but it's much too late. Matthew Ellis will get his 14th victory. And hopefully we'll see him in a more meaningful fight soon.